What's up guys, it's your boy Ben Barrage. Today I'm going to show you four worlds that devs modified. These worlds are extremely special as no other worlds are like these four one of a kind worlds. Everyone, and I mean everyone, must at least know about these worlds to be considered a non-noob in Grotopia. If you already know about these worlds, then good for you. Give yourself a pat on the back and leave a comment that says, I knew that 10 years ago to show off to everyone. For everyone else, stay tuned, you're about to have your minds blown. It's you boy, ben <laughs> Welcome back guys! According to the Grotopia wiki, when you make a new world in Grotopia, the size is 100 by 60 blocks. But there are four special worlds that aren't like that. These are rare worlds that could be sold for tons of diamond locks. Okay guys, let's start with the first world because I don't know how it's even possible to start with the second world. I mean, yeah, let's start with the first world. The first world we're going to take a look at is called Store. This world used to be called Tall, but now it's called Store. It's the tallest world in Grotopia, and it's a shop, so it's also the tallest vending shop in Grotopia. The dimensions of the world are 50 by 150. It's currently owned by the Landon. Let's take a look at the second world, it is called Tiny, and it indeed is tiny. It's the tiniest world in Grotopia, hence the name. The dimensions of the world are merely 50 by 30 blocks, and it is currently owned by Queen Israel. As you can see, it is extremely tiny. Thinking about Geiger hunting here, think again, Geiger counters no longer work in worlds of non-standard size like they used to. The third world we're going to take a look at is called Wide. It is the widest world in Grotopia and its dimensions are 200 by 40. Another interesting thing about this world is it's owned by the infamous Side Effects, who was permanently banned for selling world locks for real life money. The fourth and final world is none other than Nasdaq. Nasdaq used to be extremely popular, if not the most popular world in Grotopia. People who wanted to know prices of items would head to Nasdaq. Since its owner, Washi Paul, got permanently banned for selling world locks for real life money, it has become a haunted house. Originally this map was called Big. Since it is the biggest map in Grotopia with the dimensions of 160 by 100, it was changed to Nasdaq and now it's a dead world. Well that's it for this video guys, thank you for watching, if this was cool please do give this video a thumbs up and please leave a comment, what do you guys think about all of this? If you're new to our channel please subscribe and turn on the notifications for more videos. If you guys want to enter my cosmic cape giveaway, there should be a link at the end of the video. See you guys next time, peace!